Good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Truth Be Told, where the truth of God is spoken. I pray today that your eyes and your ears, your soul, you're open to receive. That I pray that these words fall on fertile ground as they bear much fruit so that you would awaken spiritually and start to live your life on who God says you are and not what you think you are and not what the world says, not what you believe, but what the word of God says. Let the word of God guide you. Don't follow your heart. Follow the word. Follow Jesus today. In Jesus' name I pray. So a couple years ago, I woke up and I, I people that know me know I've had an experience with God. And um, I, sometimes it's audible. Sometimes it's just a knowing, right? I've shared, uh, I'm going to share this testimony again with y'all. Uh, about two years ago, I was at a traffic stop. You know, I was going to make a left turn. And this, uh, the reason I'm telling you, and somebody needs to hear this, is because we hear, the we, God speaks to us all the time, but we we don't listen or we don't know if it's God, you know, because we don't recognize his voice because we're not in communication with him. But I've learned to hear God's voice. And when I hear it, man, I am quick to, to, to respond and to be obedient because I know that God is watching out for me. He loves me. Had I not listened that day, I would be dead. Uh, so I was going to make a left turn, going to make it really short. And, uh, you know, the light changed and I was going to make a left turn and there's a four way, you know, two, 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 this way, two, this way and coming on traffic. So we have a four way intersection with a light. My light turned green. So I was going to start to go and I heard something say, don't go. So I stopped the car and I looked both ways and all the cars are stopping or stopped. There's a car really far away. You know, I would have had many, plenty of time to make it. And I was like, there's nothing coming. So it's my light. So I'm going to go again. There's another car right here, and I'm going to go again, and I hear, stop, don't go, and I stop again. And I'm like, Lord, like, what do I, like, what's going on? I don't see anything. I look again, both sides. Everything is not fully stopped. Again, there's a car far, far away, but I don't even think he's going to make it in time. The point is, now, third time, right? Now, my light to turn is still on, and then the other light turns so this car can go straight, right? So, all of a sudden, I hear again, and I'm like, I'm going to go now because it's the third time. And as soon as I go, I heard stop. And as soon as I stopped, this car starts going. And I don't know where this other car, it was like a truck, came out of nowhere, hits this car. I'm here, moves out like two inches out. And I stop and this car barely misses me and hits this car and this car turns over. The reason, the person was okay. I stayed, they called the ambulance. But the point was, God knew what was coming. I couldn't see it. In my natural eyes, I kept looking. And I was like, I don't see nothing. And every three times he told me to stop. And the third time I stopped, I stopped every single time. But then I kept looking. I'm like, I don't see nothing. And I kept trying to do what I thought. I should have just stopped that first time and just waited until he told me to go again. But thank God that I listened every single time. So how many of you are not listening to the word of God? How many of you are listening, can hear him and continue to do what we do? And therefore we have the consequences. I don't know if that lady heard from God and God told her to stop too, or I don't know. But thank God she was okay. But I'm here to tell you, man, God talks to us, so please listen. He's always watching out for us. He's always trying to protect us. He's our Heavenly Father. So uh, I want to give you something that he gave me a couple of years ago. I woke up one morning, and this is what came out. And I'm not lying. I'm not trying to be a rapper. I'm not trying to be a singer. But this is the words that came out. And I sing it every morning as I wake up in the morning and I kneel and pray. I don't allow the devil to dictate what I say because I'm a Christian. Hey, yes, I'm a Christian. I'm straight up chill because I'm Holy Ghost filled. When the devil attacks the G.O.D. has got my back because I'm a Christian. Hey, yes, I'm a Christian. Hey, people think I'm insane. They think I'm lame as I pray and I praise and I claim his name because I'm a Christian. Hey, yes, I'm a Christian. Hey, I'm locked and loaded, God's word in tow. I open my mouth and I break the devil's hole because I'm a Christian. Hey, yes, I'm a Christian. He's the one, God's only son. Yes, he gave his life and he paid the price. And now you're free. Can't you see? I'm a Christian. Hey, yes, I'm a Christian. I pray that these little, this little tune incites you. Make up your own tune. Why are you a Christian? God protects me. God guides me. You know, it says to, to give praise and thanks let all who have breath in their lungs give praise to our Lord. So let's just take some time to praise and glorify God and thank him for, for what he's done and what, what he continues to do in our lives daily. I love you guys. I am on Christian Road and Bliss Boulevard. Where are you at? Holla.